Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from XRT here in Chicago at 20 minutes after 7. This is Ken Kesey, the Mary Franksters in the uh, bus traveling to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame where we will be ensconced, I think, on the 10th. So is, is the meaning of this bus evolved over the course of the years, or does it still mean the same thing? Oh, no, it's just clarified. It's like we, we've titrated it down. We have the essence of many, many years on, on outside there. So the vision is becoming more clear as the years pass. More clear or clearer. <laughs> as our eyes go. I think it's clearer. <laughs> yes. Uh, and not only that, but we are like Pavlov's dogs now. We don't have to take any drugs. You just bang on the side of the bus and we begin to hallucinate. This is www.comcomcom. .com. This straight come to you from the Com Central. www. So what, what does it mean to be uh, inducted into part of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in the psychedelic exhibit? Uh, the problem was the oh part of the... Oh, we're on fire! Fire, there's fire! Here comes the smoke! The part of the rock and roll fame we were being inducted into, we found out was out in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that the internet is beneficial to the quality of people's lives, or do you think that oh, it's very, alienating very people? Very much, no, very much, very... This is the answer everybody's been waiting for. This is why the government's scared of it. It can't be stopped. It's not... There's no hub anywhere. Um, no matter if you try to clean it up here, it can come back over there. And we've seen stuff that people have sent to us uh, that they've been doing kind of uh, this way from Belize and Amsterdam. And you don't know how restricted we are until we see something where people are not trying to climb the corporate ladder. They're not trying to make it. They're just doing this kind of stuff and dealing with it.